What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the site, well, you've come to the right place. By now, I'm sure you're all familiar with the imperfections with Twitch, a streaming platform, from the seemingly now defunct Safety Council, Hot Tub Meta, which promotes sexually explicit content, arbitrarily banning words like virgin or simp, the hassle with DMCA, streamers being banned randomly, often with little reason given, and generally it's unfair rules. Twitch has been the center of conversation for many a commentator. It's clear to anyone past attention that Twitch is out of touch with its streamers and audience and only time will tell how this disconnect will affect the platform. My opinion, if anything's gonna happen to make Twitch more connected with its community, it's gonna be a while. Long as the money keeps rolling in and they don't got much in the way of competition, they don't got much reason to invest their resources in improving user experience and relations. That all being said, it looks like some Twitch users are tired of their complaints going unheard and plan to go on what can only be considered a strike. From my research, it seems that all this stems from Twitter user and streamer Wreck-It Raven, who called for streamers and viewers alike to boycott Twitch on the 1st of September. The reason for it all is due to hate raids against minorities, such as people of color, LGBT, and the like. Apparently, it's very easy and accessible for people to bully and harass people, making accounts en masse to circumvent chat bans and to say nothing of bots, a problem Twitch has had for many years. Not only that, but Twitch has even banned people for failing to moderate their chat to an acceptable degree, so if you're unlucky, you can be harassed harassed, and then banned on top of it all. Now, I'm not necessarily against the walkout. I'm all for speaking with actions, or if need be, the lack of them. If you want to throw your punch, you ought to do it where it hurts, the bottom line. That being said, even before this whole thing, I just didn't see this working. First off, the boycott lasts only for a day, which, if you ask me, ain't gonna do much harm to Twitch's economics. I mean, if you're just gonna leave only to return after a day, well, it seems like it's less of a boycott and more of a single day break. Secondly, the thang just doesn't have a lot of traction. None of the Twitch bigwigs like, say, Pokimane or XQC really got on board with it. It only seems to be smaller streamers of only modest sizes. I don't mean for this to come off as mean, but a bunch of randies coming together to collectively boycott Twitch ain't gonna send a message loud enough for Twitch to care. Most of the people who I've seen claiming that they'll participate in this whole thing don't have more than 5,000 followers, which on Twitch ain't nothing to scoff at, but it's just a drop in the puddle regardless. You wanna know what else I've found that's pretty interesting? You know, Wreck-It Raven, the person we talked about earlier, they seem to have a streaming schedule, and something I notice is that she always takes Wednesdays off. You know what day September 1st is? A Wednesday. I think it's telling how one of the driving forces behind this whole situation decides to tell everyone to boycott Twitch on the day that she wouldn't have streamed on anyways. Ain't that something. So, yeah, based on what I've seen, it seems that Twitch is business as usual with little having changed. To me, it seems that this boycott of theirs just ended up in a failure. Honestly, I think it's safe to say that most people who use Twitch don't even know that there's a boycott happening. Hell, the only reason this boycott seems to have any sort of attention at all is because a lot of game journalist outlets have been trying their best to, in my opinion, artificially publicize the matter. Now, I will say, it's a shame because I agree with the sentiment that Twitch doesn't do enough to protect their creators from harassment and more on top of that. But overall, this walkout just won't be enough to send a message to Twitch. That being said, while Twitch may remain the king of live streaming in the short term, it's only a matter of time before YouTube takes it over. Twitch is known for making mistakes and changes that ultimately harm its platform and creators, and while YouTube is much of the same, I'd argue it's to a much lesser extent. Not only that, but live streaming is only getting bigger and bigger on YouTube, and it's becoming a more practical way for creators to get their bread. If Twitch wants to remain the best long term, then they'd better start investing more resources in improving their site. That's all I've got for this shtick. Now, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.